Hey, hello everyone, Style and Steve back with another Hustorian review here. Today, you can see I got a big Mama Jamma. I have the Funko Pop Davros. Uh, the leader of the Khaled Scientific Elite is here in my possession. And he is a big boy. He is a bigger box uh, than most of the other figures do come in. There is a lot of size to this particular figure. You can see as I go around with Davros on the side and a uh, nice representation of the figure on the other side of the box. But he is a bigger box. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can push him over to the side for a sec, if Cubecraft Steve doesn't mind. Uh, if I bring in a standard Funko box, there's the 11th Doctor. Um, you can see the size of the box. Is, there is a massive difference here, mostly because of the Dalek travel machine wheelchair hover chair thing Davros is in. You can see the size comparison. His head is relatively the same. I may break out the 11th for the size comparison portion uh, just to see here, but the focus of this is on Davros himself, the leader of the Khaleds, the creator of the Daleks. And on the back of the box we see other figures to the set. We see the, 12th, the 10th Doctor with a hand, the 11th Doctor slash Mr. Clever, the 12th Doctor with guitar, the War Doctor, and of course Davros. I'm only missing two from here, the 10th Doctor with the hand and the 11th uh, Mr. Clever, who should be in my possession soon, I hope. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and get Davros out of the box. He's actually in the same size box that the TARDIS came in from this set. And it is Funko, so it's relatively easy to get him out of his plastic prison. And he's got some heft to him. He's got some weight in him. Go ahead and lay. There is Davros in all his glory. With his little headpiece. I'll get a look at the detail here in just a second. I'm just going to spin him around so we can see how he looks so far. In his little chair. Travel machine base. This is an awesome little figure. Let me go ahead and just bring him in closer. You can see the wrinkles on his face. Sculpted detail really good. The third eye up top. The headpiece into his head that's holding on, holding on. That's part of his life support system. I would imagine holding pieces of his skull together. Um, look down in here. You can see inside. You can see the shoulder pieces are there. Holding on to them. Uh, try and angle this right. You can see the shoulder piece coming up. Uh, off the backrest and his leather coat. So this is from his encounters with the 10th Doctor on upward. You can see the metallic hand in there and the control panels on his uh, on his chair. Various buttons and levers and bits and bobs and around just the Dalek base that's here because we know this is the from the bottom down, he's he's just pure Dalek. This is this is Dalek. This is Travel Machine, and the rivets picked out here on the base. They are awesome. And on the bottom, we just have the copyright information, Funko and BBC. And he just looks really, really awesome. I'm glad to have this figure in my collection. Let me just see if is he meant to. His head, oh, there we heard the crack. So his head does turn from side to side. And in Davros's case for articulation, you know, that's probably the most that you would get out of Davros in the first place. Uh, now the head rest head piece on the back does interfere with the way his head does turn, but he does turn a little bit so he can emote just a little bit. Yes, I would do it. Yes. Um, carried away there with this little megalomaniac. But you can see he looks awesome. This is one of the... This is probably going to be one of my favorite figures that I have in my Funko Doctor Who collection. Uh, is this particular Davros. And I'm going to go ahead and break out the 11th Doctor again. Just to get a size comparison between figures here. And he's the easiest one on hand. Alright, come here Doctor. He's the easiest one on hand. So you can see, <laughs> we are getting a little disproportionate here um, in figure size. The head sizes, I think, are comparable if we put them next, put them in front of each other. But uh, we're a little disproportionate in height. Uh, <laughs> 
this this would be an epic showdown, but um, the doctor is dwarfed a little by the the man in the chair, so he should be smaller. He's a little disproportionate here to this, uh, but it's still kind of cool to have the two of them standing side by side. Uh, I'll take him out for now. I'll take the doctor out, and I'm going to bring in some other size comparisons here. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Supreme Dalek from the Mega Kit that I got a little while ago. Okay, uh, he does have some lights and sound. You can see the size here compared uh, with Davros. Uh, let me stand up a six inch figure. So Davros really is about five and a half to six inches tall. He's just, <laughs> I can't get a, a good level. No, he, he is six inches tall. Um, massively standing there next to the, the Tenth Doctor. He is an incredible size to have here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring out a couple of more of his kin and brethren. This is a Titan's Vinyl Dalek standing next to him. As you can see, the size does vary here a little bit. Uh, what else have I got? I have a little Lego Dalek to stand next to him. As well, I have a... I have another Dalek. I don't know. I think this. Oh, this was a Dalek out of another one of those mega kits. This is this is another Dalek who rolls pretty well. I'll put his wheel towards the front and try and balance him out a little bit. There we go. So we have a neat little Dalek army forming around Davros. And I do have one more Dalek here. Uh, I do have a Dalek. I'm going to move the camera back here. Uh, I do have a Dalek from the Genesis of the Daleks Underground Toys line who I can put in the back here with his creator. And you can see the size difference with him in the picture. Uh, let me move the other Daleks to the side. A little Lego Dalek over there. And we bring the big boy, the Genesis Dalek. You can see the size comparison with his creator. Uh, with Davros, I'll move back so we get them all in the shot. Poor little Cubecraft Steve, dwarfed by all these Daleks. Um, yeah, so this is how he stacks up with a little size comparison with other Daleks from other Doctor Who properties. Uh, other toy properties, I should say. And uh, yeah, I got a pretty neat little Dalek army built up here. The only one missing now is Bruce. Uh, he's out in another room. Um, he's... He's a foot tall. I'm not going to get him into this shot with this Davros. I'll just confine it to the toys. Um, yeah, I'll move these guys out of the way for now. My Titans, my Lego Dalek. I have a lot of Daleks. Multiple tar TARDIS? No, it was multiple Daleks in the area. You go away. Anyway, so the Funko Davros. Funko Pop Davros. Uh, giant five inch figure here, six inch figure. He is uh, phenomenal. He's going to be an awesome centerpiece to my collection. He'll be stood next to the TARDIS in his box um, because he is just that massive. And that's going to do it for this review. Uh, if you do like the reviews that I'm doing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to, if you like this review, give it a thumbs up at the bottom. Uh, it does help out the channel here. And you can go ahead as well and hit that little notification bell. Allegedly, it does tell you when I upload a new video. On Tuesdays, it has been Doctor Who reviews, which now are crossing over with the Funkos. And uh, on Fridays is Funko Friday, of course. The podcast is thewhostorian.ca. You can go back and find all my reviews there from Doctor Who, and you can find all the podcast episodes of myself and Shannon Lush discussing uh, all good things Doctor Who. And uh, until next time, I'm Stylin' Steve, and uh, I'll see you around the vortex.